best of all. Love a song. Love a video. Not this video. Don't get me wrong though. I'll give credit where it's due. Like, the end's pretty sick. But the limitations of the other modes and the lack of a straight module from DVX with this to replace it. Anyway, so chances are you've come to play this song on X Extreme and you either keep dying or hopeless at perfecting it or you find it really hard to get a consistent score. Well, let's get into the chart, but for this video, unlike the previous one, I'm going to take you straight to the artist bit at the end and you'll we'll see why in a minute. Okay, this is the worst part of the song, hands down. The dreaded piano. It's things like these which remind you that this game was not made with a DualShock 4 in mind at all. This clustered mess probably would make better XX and 8 star. Had there not been there, it's quite ridiculous. Loads of people tend to set R1 to the cross circle macro and just draw extremely fast. Tap to your one at the end. I've yet to see anyone else do this none other way. If you can do this, you're, you're good as gold, but if not, there, there is a cheating way to do it. It broke the game. In between pauses, you have a split few frames to press each note. But if your time is good enough, you should be able to do it. I love it. I don't want to cheat. And I completely respect you for this decision. It's limitation. And you can't do it any other way. Then I'll show you the trick on my sleeve. I found that if you set your D pad up like this, I move it from one arm really fast in the circle and press the double notes with your right hand. It's, it's way easier on you and the controller. Finicky, of course, but consistent enough. You've got to find the perfect thumb placement though. Now, that's fine and dandy, but you've got no triangle or circle on the D pad now. Just double note earlier, that bit in the middle. How'd you do that now when a D pad's like this? You have to set L1 and L2 to try and go in a circle. That's why I started here first, because it's not the end for us with this level. It's the beginning. Yeah. These are pretty simple when you get used to them. Just do them normally, but press an L1 instead of up on a D-pad. The only time you shouldn't is if you're holding triangle with L1 at the end. In which case, just quickly press triangle after square with your right hand for that particular one. Or start with L2 and do it backwards if you get me. <laughs> These parts suck since you need speed, that's all there is to it. All I can advise is look at Hisoki's spam tutorial. Summed up, you can press really fast if you sort of shake the controller by tensing your arm so with each shake, yeah, press them because of the d-pad layout you've got a lot more leeway in how you do these I find pressing up in the circle spam easier than pressing down and pressing right in the square spam easier than pressing left but that's just me and my crappy d-pad This part's gonna feel really weird. I advise you start each roll with your right hand, just so you don't get too confused. Just do the roll like you normally would, but press L2 in place of the D-pad, and L1 with the one straight after. The next two you can do normally, since it shouldn't be out of the ordinary. These next two are the awkward ones, since not only do you have to press the left shoulder buttons once each, but you've also got to include your right shoulder buttons to press the double notes at the end. Luckily though, you should be free to choose the exact macros needed. 
Just make sure that later on you hit these triplets by pinching square and a cross circle macro. Lastly, there's one more just before the fast death piano, but I think after that you sh should easily catch on. And alright, that's Betty the Liar XX done dusted. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you in some way. If you're still stuck with anything, you can always ask me in the comments. Until next time.